Hello, I'm Curly Sue and I'm doing a cooking demonstration today from Westfield Shopping Centre, Stratford in London. And today I'm going to be making light and fluffy eggless cornmeal muffins. They're really easy to make, low in fat and really tasty as well. Because sometimes people think vegan and vegetarian food is not very tasty. But today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make and how it can be really tasty. Now for this recipe, all you need are two cups of fine cornmeal. Now a cup is about five ounces, so that's 10 ounces of cornmeal. And you can use the fine cornmeal that you can buy in most shops around about the place and in most major supermarkets. And then you will need a cup and a half of wholemeal flour, so that's the brown flour with the little bits in it. And then half a cup of unbleached flour, so that's plain white flour two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, two cups of coconut milk. Now, it can, you can use soya milk or almond milk or any kind of milk, rice milk if you like. Any kind of non-dairy milk is fine. Two thirds of a cup of honey or agave syrup or maple syrup, any of those is perfectly fine. And then we need half a cup of some kind of oil. Now, we, we try to use the good oil. It can be olive oil or canola oil or rapeseed oil. Uh, today I'm using rapeseed oil because that I find is the, the nicest to cook with and it's the lowest in saturated fats. So this makes this a really healthy recipe. Now, to make it, it's really quick and easy. If you've got friends over, they've stayed overnight, and you want to make a really impressive breakfast in the morning, this is what you can do. So all you do is sift together the cornmeal like so because you do that to put some air in and to get the lumps out so that's really quick to do that and then you add the wholemeal flour and put that in there now when you sift the wholemeal flour it will not um, sift out the brown bits they will stay there all you do is just tip it back in so you just sift it in like that and give it a good shake so that all the lumps come out and again you're putting more air into it so it's light and fluffy and it melts in your mouth absolutely wonderful so that's almost done and then you just put the brown bits back in so basically it's just to get more air in and then you add the half a cup of unbleached flour like so and just sift that all in and then your baking powder and your salt okay so you put those all in like so and as you can see there's a few little lumps you can just press it down with your wooden spoon like that and that's that bit done and I always give it a good stir even though you've sifted it together to make sure it's all mixed in properly stir it together like so so that all of the ingredients combine together nicely and it's evenly distributed throughout your muffins now the next bit all you do is with the coconut milk you add the oil and your honey like so it's really delicious. So you mix all of those three together, like that, very simple. And then you just pour that into the dry ingredients, like that. And then you just stir it around so that it gives it a good mixture. So everything is mixed together nicely. So I'll just give it a good stir here. So as you can see, it's all combining together quite nicely and it's going to be a nice, lovely, yellowy colour when it's done. And these are great for kids as well. And it's a great recipe if you want to get your kids in the kitchen helping you out. And if your kids are fussy eaters, it's a good thing to help them, get them to make some of the food they're eating. It encourages them to eat as well. But this is great for adults. It's great as a side dish, great as part of a breakfast. Really great to make and really simple. And it encourages you, makes you feel like a great chef because it's simple to make and it looks impressive as well. So there you see, it's all stirred around. Just get any little lumps out. And then you have your muffin tin with the little muffin cases like so. And I learned this impressive tip. You use an ice cream scoop, fill up the ice cream scoop. And I usually pick it up because I find it's easier to, to work it that way. And just fill it up with eat one scoop of the ice cream scoop into the mix of the mixture into it like so 
and you just keep going until you fill all of them up. Don't overfill it because it's going to rise, the mixture, um, and it will rise qu um, quite a bit, a noticeable amount. But it's a really great recipe, easy to make, very healthy, and it's also quite cheap to make as well. It's not expensive at all. It's just cornmeal and flour and those sorts of ingredients are very, very cheap. So there we have it, just filling them up, and almost, we're halfway there. And this recipe um, is something that I saw in America, and I kind of adapted it for here, because I thought, well, why don't we have cornmeal muffins over here? It's such a tasty thing to have, and so easy to make, so then why not? Let's have it over here. So you just keep going until all of your cases are filled. Like so. And don't worry if it moves about a bit. Once you put it back into the baking tray, it will settle down. And you're going to put it into, you preheat the oven first be, before you begin. And you're going to leave it in the oven for a, about 45-ish minutes. But it depends on the oven, because not all ovens are the same. Some are stronger than others. There you go, so we're almost done now. And the final one, like so. This one's going to be slightly smaller, but never mind. There you go. And you just pop it into an oven at 350 degrees, which is about 190 or gas mark 5, for about 45 minutes or until if you put a toothpick in, it comes out clean. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and show you one that I made earlier. And here I have some that I made earlier, true Blue Peter style. <laughs> and as you can see, they're light and fluffy cornmeal muffins. And you can split them in the middle and have them with butter. You can have, buy some nice vegan butter. Um, and have them. You can have them with jam um, or you can have them with peanut butter. They're really nice with that. Or if you want to have them as a side dish, you can have beans, some veggie sausages and these as well. Great recipe, really easy to make and it's very healthy and you are going to love them if you make them too. Thank you for watching. Curly Sue's Kitchen. We do cooking demonstrations, presentations on healthy eating and we also have a cookbook called Curly Sue's Kitchen and we have some more coming out shortly and we also have television programs as well as these clips that you're watching. Um, if you would like to um, get in touch for a personal appearance please go to our page, our web page www.curlysueskitchen.co.uk and you can also go on our Facebook page which is Curly Sue's Kitchen and, and it's on Facebook as well. So if you'd like to watch you see and you want to get in touch please feel free to do so and we'll be happy to come and share with you the delights of delicious vegan and vegetarian cooking. If you like what you see and you want to see more, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You've been watching Curly Sue's Kitchen.